Hello, good afternoon, good morning. I'm Mr. DeWalt, this is Make and Do Art. And today we are working on video 17. It's on color, but we have a special visiting artist um, that will be visiting us on this video, Courtney Childress. You'll see what she makes, and we are going to follow her process and create these cool swirly crayon pieces that we'll then use. So today, what you'll need are aluminum foil. About this much. A cookie tray. A parent because you're going to need to use the oven. Crayons. Best thing for this project are the old broken crayons that you don't want. A bowl with ice. Shout outs for our last video. We have Driola, Alana, David, uh, Labib, Mikkel, and good job. Participation, thumbs up guys. Keep up the good work. Please pause your video and gather your materials. Wax gets pushed up through a mold shaping the crayons and they are put through a machine down a chute and the labels get put on. There's the glue to put the labels on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Here's artist Courtney Childress in her studio with her giant crayon sculptures and her paintings. Adults and children alike love to use Courtney's giant crayon sculptures to make drawings on scraps of carpeting. Here's one of Courtney's crayon sculptures being taken out of the foil. We'll make a smaller version. You have to peel all the paper off the crayons before you start to melt them and mix them. All of these crayons produce two large bags of crayon peels. One, two. Here are some of Courtney's giant crayon blocks. These are sculptures, but you can also use them to make marks. Now it's time for our project. Peel all of your broken crayons. Separate the crayons from the paper. You don't want your paper getting into your crayon chunk. Now, you can make as big or small of a container you want. You may have more crayons to use than I do here. I'm putting the light colors in with one dark one. And here, I only had blue and raspberry. 
Now we're ready to preheat our oven and get our cookie tray. Preheat your oven to 170 degrees. Place your crayon containers on your cookie tray and put it in your oven. for 15 minutes. Have a bowl of ice ready so that you can place these in the ice. They'll set up rather quickly. Next, you're gonna peel your crayon chunk out of your aluminum foil As you turn your crayon, you'll notice the different colors come out. Have fun turning and shaping your new crayons.